how deep does the Grand Canyon go, Eric? That's a great question. Which brings up my next point. <laughs> okay, Connor. Guys, I'd like to propose something uh, about the entire state of Arizona, in fact. I'd like to call it out. Um, number one. Daylight savings time. Why do you guys not do daylight savings time? All right. Number one, I know the reason. I know, you know, it's hot there. We got to worry about snakes. We can't worry about turning, changing the clock an hour. I understand wait, that. Saying, wait, wait, You're saying Arizona does not do daylight savings time? They are the only state that doesn't do daylight savings time. I'm moving. You're moving there. It's worthless. It, it is worthless. It is worthless. I will agree. But in being unique, but they look what? like assholes. But, but what? <laughs> they look like what? assholes Nothing. by being okay. unique. I think, I think they gotta reconsider. But that's not the biggest scam on their plate. No, no. Um, I'm gonna propose that the Grand Canyon is some form of scam. And let me elaborate, because okay. because if you think about it, right, there are rivers everywhere. <laughs> this is so dumb. This is such a dumb argument. <laughs> But I'm going to go forward with it. If you think about it, All right. rivers are everywhere, right? And they're constantly changing, right? So, like, they'll, like, they get more windy, I guess, over time. They they cut each other off over time. They merge, whatever. Um, but none of them really form a true valley. Like, and then the Grand Canyon happens all of a sudden. I mean, obviously not all of a sudden, over, over a million of years. <laughs> Just poof, it's there. It's you know poof. You're you're uh you're and then you look at the Colorado River. I mean, obviously, right? It's doing this over time, but it's like a dainty little thing right now. It looks like it's gonna dry up. So, uh, it's tired. It's tired. Is that the? I mean, it did. It, it did. It did work pretty hard to get to where it was. It did, but at the same time, shouldn't it be getting more grand? You know, shouldn't the Grand Canyon? be sinking lower even if it's at a slow rate why don't we ever talk about it getting more grand you know it's these kind of things that really they're they are plot holes in the scam that is the uh the river and i just want i wanted to talk about it with you guys i wanted to hear you so what do you are you proposing that that arizona has set up a scam for tourists to come and then to make money off of it by just digging a grand canyon i think that's a pretty stupid scam because i can't remember the last time i heard about somebody going to the grand that's fair. Honestly, I, 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 but I mean, like, if you're going to go to Arizona, and this is a total rip on Arizona right now, um, is what else would I personally go for? You know? Arizona State. Oh, you're right. Don't they have a, don't they have like <laughs> a cool lake? Do they have a lake? No, it's Nevada. Do isn't they? Nevada. Nevada, Nevada has, has a, Nevada has a lake. Yeah. Salt lake. Nevada has a desert. Nevada has a, a man-made lake. Yeah, that that's in the Colorado River. You're right. It's like Lake Mead or something like that. I forget what it's called. Um, but, uh, Eric, I think you got me on that one because Arizona State, that does exist still. And so... I mean, Arizona, yeah, good old, you know, the party capital of... Arizona. US, oh, yes, technically yeah. the U.S. and Arizona. And Arizona. Well, I, I would think if it's if it's the party capital of the U.S., then it would also be Arizona. <laughs> I would hope of the of the Phoenix uh, uh, metroplex, technically Temp, if we're being specific. I heard I heard a strange uh, rumor about Arizona State because Arizona State is well known for being uh, a college that accepts uh, very attractive men and women alike. Uh, and I heard that there was a rumor that they like find out about whether you're attractive or not like through something on their like not on their physical application but like there's a way that they can find this out okay this is a much deeper conspiracy <laughs> hold on are you saying that they scout out beautiful people well no i don't think, think they i don't think they scout them out i think people apply because people like how do you become a historically hot college over time you know that's that's kind of the question i'm thinking because, like, 
right? Like, if it's a college that's known for having hot people, you're going to attract hot people naturally because they're going to want to come back. It's like a smart college yeah. thing. You know, like, if a college uh, has really good sports, people are going to keep coming back to the place that has good sports because they already had good sports. Yeah, but, like, with rich, hot people... Rich get richer, right? Right, but, like, you also scout in sports, and with, like, you know, if it's How a good school academically... Hot? Right. How do they do this year in and year out? And how do they know that they're not accepting, like, an ugly person who just wants to break in, you know? Well, are there, are there like, a ton of reported deaths at Arizona State? Because you could just kill them. You, you could. Um, to be fair, I your, know your a kid RA could just who goes you, there, you so. You know a kid who died at Arizona State? <laughs> no, no, he didn't die. He goes there now. So I'm gonna track his. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna live through him vicariously, and if he dies, like, well, no, he was one of the ugly ones, I guess. Do you consider your friend that goes to Arizona State attractive? I don't know. He's fine, I, but I. What does that mean? Is that fine I, by Arizona State standards, or do you just have no have like fine? Than Arizona State? Uh, well, I don't. <laughs> you don't know their standards. That's the thing is well, if, they. If you're a historically hot college, I assume you have pretty high standards. Yeah, yeah, they have amazing state. I mean, I guess for Arizona State, I mean, the thing is, with like, with me and rating other men, like, I don't feel like I'm a good gauge for that. So like, I we need a woman looks... on this chat. Exactly. Like he's a he's a fine looking guy, but Eric, dude, does he make the standards? <laughs> Jim, I would if I could. <laughs> on the on the to do list. Please find this. Oh, wait, let, let me let me go full on Chad real quick. Yeah, find find. Oh, we got him, boys. Go to the go to the ASU uh, <laughs> scouting page and you'll find. Oh yeah. Go you'll on find the search woman. bar and type in woman. Here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna find, I'm gonna research find. this topic because it is uh, it's a uh, why is Arizona State so hot. Filled, well, then you'll get temperature things. I don't oh, want yeah, that. You're right. Filled with you're so right. many this is hot a, this people. This is a scam. <laughs> See? Uh, so, I, I, so I'm looking up things. I don't know. Arizona State has a beautiful campus filled with beautiful people. So this isn't the, like, you're not the only person to bring this up. I find that no, this is, like, a well-known thing um, that, like, Arizona State is, like, well-known. I think it's, like, you know, it's, like, them and, like, oh, you know, southern you schools in general. <laughs> That's a great question. Do you think it's because I, the, do you think it could be an income thing? Where, whereas when you live in the east, the income disparity is often lower, so you find uglier people go to college. Whereas in the south, the income disparity is higher, so the only people that are actually going to school are ridiculously richy rich types. Is Arizona, that's a gr is that's Arizona a good point. State an expensive school to go to? It might be, and I think, and well, I think that applies. Is expensive to begin with, right? How do we quantify right. that? Right, but I think what also applies is like, um, is with Arizona not Arizona, with UCLA. Like, UCLA is a very, very selective school. So if your parents are of, um, if your parents are of, like, more affluence, I guess, it might be a little easier. Or, like, uh, if you go to better schools, because you're, it's like a, it's a descending thing, right? Like, if you're rich, then you go to better schools, and, like, people that are rich, like, uh, that, you know, they have the ability to go to better schools, so therefore they have the better ability to go to UCLA. And it might just so happen that rich people have uh, very attractive offspring. But I don't know. It's a great question. Yeah, like rich, pe rich people have good genes. Exactly. Well, or at least you, one is the money, to, one is the money maker and long, one is you have very to attractive. Live rich. Like if you think about it, right? I, I, heard this the, I heard this about a week ago, and I'm not sure if I still agree with it. But think about it. it it's it, you have to spend money to look good. It, that's how it works. If you right. don't spend, and it's it's deceptive how much money you have to spend. It's not much. If you don't spend money to buy toothpaste to brush your teeth, you need to get a root canal, right? And then your teeth fall out. Right. If you mm -hmm. don't floss your teeth, right, they fall out. If you don't spend money on, I don't know, like what shampoo, proper food, yeah, or like proper, like proper good nutrition. nutrition, right? It doesn't right. have to be a gym membership, but it's not just how you spend your time; it's how you spend your money. 
Exactly. And apparently UCLA is like the upper crust, of that, the upper echelon. And I, I, and I, I mean, I would like to find a list of like what are considered the top hot schools, but I know um, Arizona State is up there. And I, again, I just wonder how these schools get these notoriety, like, and how you can maintain that do, over time. Do Do you think, as speaking as somebody with next to no experience, do you think that? Hot people can like just track each other like subconsciously. They have a sixth sense. Well, no, if you, if you look at any other, I don't like consider being attractive a hobby. But for the sake the for, the, for the sake of argument, let's let's use that, right? Like, yeah, I, I find myself surrounded by people who have similar tastes and similar attitudes. Do you think that carries over to physical looks? That, that's a great question. Um, I mean, I think you're right. Like, people are, like, people like if, are... If you're a 10... Good-looking people will find good-looking people. And, and, and no matter how, like... Well, would you? Not, for, well, not, well, not yeah. like, for extended periods, like, at UCLA. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dorm with somebody who spits on me. Well, I I agree with Tim in this sense. Okay, two, in, all right, no, hold on. Wait, people people who are attentive, <laughs> people who are two. It's not like these people are just like Neanderthals. They just spit on each other and go. Ugh. This is like a, this is a ten point scale, man. And, and it's not. I don't think there has ever been like an accurate version. The of five video. point scale is is surprisingly good. I think the five point scale is is pretty good. Really? But yeah, because the five point scale it. It's not like a direct correlation to the ten point scale. It's very much like a. Um, it's a do you star find system? this? Right. It's like it's, you know it's, three it's or less based three on or a person that you're viewing and more based on you. Is that it? It's more like, you know, three stars or above is somebody that you would find sexually attractive, and like if you were to uh, like have sex with them, then you would be okay with that. Like, and like, is five like emotional attraction? Is that how you? Five, five is more like, five is more like, it's in, it's like a ten in the sense. It's, it's, it's a very respect. unobtainable goal. It's, yeah, it's I think, respect. I think, yeah. <laughs> it means that's five is the, like cornerstone. Human being. the cornerstone. Human yeah. being. The cornerstone. Like, like hits all check marks. Right, right. It's like it's an unobtainable goal that goes past like, like because, uh, inherently the scale. Uh, is linked with like with beauty or, or with handsomeness so like there is that linkage but you have to keep separation with that and that's what the five kind of does like the five is like this person is a is a complete package it makes no sense that that they are currently speaking to me right now kind of thing wow yeah it's it's very self uh deprecating of course but it, it works it works. Hey, hey, I'm just happy to be here. Does hey, it work? Man, exactly. I'm, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> um, hey, man. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. And I, the thing is, is that you've got to, when you accept, like, like the point that I keep making is like, when you accept people, it's not like you get a profile as to like how attractive they are. You just like have to go with it, kind of thing. Do you, um, I like think if you are a person, very insidious to learn if they're attractive. I'm sure they have, and I, and this is complete speculation, but here's how I would do it. If you can't actually, like, I, I doubt this university is doxing people. That is, finding right. their personal details by using their real name and their identification to figure out if they're attractive. What I think they're doing is they are narrowing down the pool based on, like, I guess you could say empirical data about what, prof like, is UCLA, not UCLA, is Arizona, are they known for, like, whereas Eastern has an excellent communications program and... Eastern, are they known for, like, a program? Yeah, they're known for a program or they're known for, say, I don't want to say sports here because I've met many people from the University of Connecticut that I, I wouldn't touch with a 20-foot pole that probably play, like, softball or something. But, right. So they probably well, they look, they look no no, at no. It and they I say, think okay, it's what do attractive people do? Why would attractive I think, people come to my? I no, think no no no. Here's no here's the here's the reason. What att attractive people like to party? Right. Arizona State is notorious for having for being a very big partying school. And and not so only that's why we have and not only that places like UCLA and Arizona State that are actually like 
you know, known for their parties and stuff like that. So therefore, attractive people, because their priorities are going to a um, going to a party school and getting the quote unquote college experience. Like that's their cash cow. Like, yes, that's, that's how they <laughs> and, make the majority of the and, money. Like, the, and you Eric, don't, I, you don't you don't ring in you don't ring in the women if you have a good bio program. And and Eric, I'd like to expand on that. Um, okay. Arizona, as we have mentioned countless times, it's quite hot there. All these southern schools have the advantage of being warm year round in that in, in that sense. And and at Arizona State in particular, um, I've noticed from this guy's Snapchat is they have a pool like they have pools everywhere that kids will just party in and like do shit in. Like pool parties are like consistent. They're like a thing, you know. Pools are everywhere. Uh, whereas and in here I, in New England, they happen like once every six years. Right. It, <laughs> if we get a good summer in there, yeah, then then maybe someone summer, considers it's it. It's amazing to me when I step in the water and it's warm and I'm not like at a YMCA somewhere. Right. <laughs> right. And so that's why I think like maybe there's this attraction, like you know, maybe they on tours or stuff like that. They're like, oh, and here's like the. Um, the pool that's for student use, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, kids that are, like, uh, that are self-conscious about themselves, they, like, start to second-guess it. They're like, well, I'm not going to be able to use that as, a men as an amenity. And, like, I'm paying, like, $50,000 for this fucking swimming pool <laughs> that I'm not even going to use. So, like, so what's the point? What they do is they, they the door is open, but the moment you step inside, they take every step possible to get everyone ugly to leave. It's exactly. It's a tour that limit. It's, it's not a, a Willy tour, Wonka it's a test. It's a Willy Wonka <laughs> oh tour. Oh my goodness, that's evil. <laughs> this is no longer Boys. speculation. I guarantee you, this is happening. The <laughs> dean is probably has his feet up on his desk right now, laughing maniacally. I think we cracked guys, the case, guys. There is a red dot on my chest. Right Eric, there. no. <laughs> All the way from I mean, Arizona. I didn't know you could get shot from Arizona. Make sure, make sure the podcast gets uploaded. Well, funny story the world needs that. to know this. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, I think it's genius. I think we cracked the case. I think because we you think about this entire episode to Arizona. I think so too. Because you think about, well, I mean, just <laughs> Southern schools in I general. Have you seen Eric's life? <laughs> I've been to Arizona, and I could say that I think they're trying to supplement something. Perhaps they're perhaps they're compensating. But when I went to Arizona, the majority of people that I saw were not workers. I say that being really? myself. Uh, so I suppose, whereas like college towns are infamous for being completely different than the surrounding municipality, the same thing here, where the University of Arizona has created a bubble in which they exist. Of exclusivity. And they, they exist alone. The same mm -hmm. thing with UConn stores for those of you who are unfamiliar stores is a city in the middle of the woods it is a city it is self-contained you could wall it off and it would survive it's right have the well i think it's more i think it's more the college campus is a city it's a bubble yeah. yes but in some places college, you really it get survive. it right and and in like you know like with with um i don't know like nyu or like UCLA, like, schools that are based in a city, you don't have this... Maybe, like, UCLA, you see it more, but, like, you don't you see it, it in a lot of... You hate to see it, especially at this level of play. But, like, you, you obviously have to be in this city so you're associated with the city. Whereas, like, some of these schools, such as UConn, they are literally the town that they are in. Like, they are the only thing... Like, a good example is... Um, Texas A&M, like, it's literally in the middle of nowhere, Texas. It is the city that it is. Um, so, like, I, I don't know. I exactly. <laughs> I am the beast I worship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, I, gentlemen, this has been uh, very eye-opening. I've learned a lot. From from our <laughs> conversation, that we have it's been eye opening. We learned a lot about ourselves. <laughs> we learn a lot about Arizona. I think every single time. I think what we need to do is we need to take a good look at ourselves, take take a couple hundred pictures, and tell our parents that if we show up dead tomorrow, this is what happened. And this is right. Happened. I'll I will email the podcast uh, to thirty people so that way at least 
it's don't safe, let the flame you know? Die out because don't it, let the it's flame very, die it's out. It's easy to kill three people, not so easy to kill 30 people. Exactly. Although I don't think it's out of reach for Arizona. <laughs> I was going to say, fuck it. Might as well forward it to the president of Arizona State. Get the man on yeah. the line. Subject line, we know what you're doing. CC. No, even Donald better, we Trump got you. <laughs> We gotcha. He's sweating. He He's quaking in his boots. He's yeah. so scared right He's now. He's quaking in his horrifically attractive boots. God damn, the man's sexy. You look at you look at the president. I'm gonna look up a picture of the president and tell you if this is uh, the case. Read him on a one to five skill. Do you okay. Think, do you think the dean is just <laughs> without knowing his personality? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, his. Wow. Okay, I won't mention any names uh, for this guy. I'll, I'll let him stay anonymous, even though He's I've said he's the president <laughs> of a major university. You've done nothing, Mr. President. If you want to come on the podcast and defend yourself, oh uh, yeah, we actually we're required to do that per FCC regulation. That's, if it's, exactly. Yeah, if, so. it's po if it's politics, you have to. Although, all right. Yeah, well, if, it's a, if the entirety of uh, if the entirety of <laughs> University of Arizona wants to come on and defend themselves, please. Yeah. If, if, or any hot people would like to explain themselves, please. Yeah, exactly. Don't want to come to my house? Don't, like, <laughs> that's, that's you can definitely. don't hesitate to contact us. Don't don't hesitate to contact, please. I, I'm I'm more than willing to have a, a fine. Heart to heart. You, uh, you're, my mom, my mom can meet you. We can go to prom together. Yeah, and I'll, I'll make I'll make snacks. We'll watch movies and stuff. Like right. Hold awesome. your and maybe, and maybe at the end of the all end of it all, you will rate me a five. And then it'll be a happy little marriage. And then we'll just be two fives just living together for the rest of our <laughs> lives. Wow. A real ten household. <laughs> oh my god, it's a full ten. <laughs> what, what happens if you have a kid? It's well, fifteen, be 15 huh? <laughs> that'll be man, 15. I want to see these numbers go up, man. <laughs> man, twist. Just, I was going like to say, point. imagine like the Duggar family, dude. That's like a forty house. Easy. It's a forty-five plus. Wait, so if you all right, so if you have twins, does that mean the five gets split in half? So you have two, two and a half. Well, I've never seen oh. a five with twins, so I can't. Wow, that's yeah, a exactly. So two, two and a half. But if two any twins want to come on to the podcast <laughs> to defend themselves. <laughs> Preferably fives. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, dead. God, I'm it. dead. <laughs> XP, I'm dead. Laval, that's literally me after I expose Arizona State. <laughs> oh man, I'm am so, so sorry that uh, I'm so sorry that Connor killed himself. Uh, he got <laughs> shot in the back of the head 80 times and they threw him off a bridge. <laughs> Poor guy. If if Connor would like to come on this podcast and defend himself, <laughs> please do. Please feel more than welcome to. <laughs> All right, boys. I think that I think that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> We've gotten ourselves into enough trouble. I think yeah. Oh my All right, I'm gonna stop recording. All right. <laughs> oh. Shit. I. <laughs>